All right, and hey there, Products Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Coliseum Let's Play. If you guys missed out during the last one, we went and head on into the Shadow Pokemon Lab and also went and taken on some researchers and some Cypher members. But now we're going to go and take a little bit of a break here, guys. We're going to go and head right on over back to where Fennec City is going to be and tackle up with just these six different Pokemon that are going to happen. Now, if you guys do recall during from the, a little bit of a while back uh, within our time of uh, heading into Pokemon Coliseum, uh, Justy did go and tell us at the very beginning that... Uh, uh, once we got ourselves with all six Pokemon that we can go and face off with him uh, during our time um, once that actually does happen And now since we do have our six Pokemon right now We can go and now finally challenge out with Justy and be able to go and do that battle Now I don't know if we're gonna be able to have enough time to go and do everything within the shadow Pokemon lab and try to continue onwards with our journey So I think what I'm gonna pr just probably go and do here is just be uh, just tackling out with Justy And that's gonna be just, just basically about everything that's gonna happen from here uh, but with all that being said in mind let's just go and do a little bit of a quick team recap with everybody and let's go and do it so we got some with blaze the typhlosion at level 43 we do have quagmire at level 42 with eq we do have uh kirby at level 41 we do have umbreon at level 47 with the black glasses we do have nimbus at level 46 with dxp share on we do have rio at level 41 uh with the twisted spoon and that is basically everybody on the team and with that being said in mind let's just go and head back to fennec and uh let's go and continue onwards with our journey here all right so within these two videos for today guys we're of course gonna be going and doing some more of the okami hd let's play and i uh, hope you guys do go and check it on that because we are gonna have to go and do some more of the canine searching i believe we got ourselves just two more of those just left uh we do have one in the taka path and another one located within the hour time of the agatha forest which i believe that is for umi uh one of the dogs that we had to go and uh, rescue i think during the time of the taka well not in the taka path but the in the uh, agatha forest uh, that was happening a little bit a while ago uh, with that whole uh, Tazua ruins and everything but we'll worry about that once we go and head into a combi HD but for right now we got ourselves a battle with Justy so that is what's gonna happen from here uh, so hello so I guess you finally got your six Pokemon on your party well then would you like to go and battle against me uh, with me so let's go and of course do that here right here right now and let's go and jump around over to that battle area and get this uh, all started up here once and for all now majority of his team i want to say are going to be like around like grass or ground type a type of pokemon so you want to make sure that you at least just have uh at least like some sort of fire pokemon or water typing uh type of pokemon that's going to be here now i think there's only one pokemon i think that's just kind of out of the ordinary and that is just going to be uh just with his azumarill now if you guys remember from before back in the pokemon xd series that we had to go and face off with justy uh is that he always likes to go and set up for double teams and that's like his main type of like signature type of way of how he likes to go and do his battles the setting up for anything double team related just for you to constantly just go and miss every so often which that is not fun at all in the slightest so if you do have like a grass typing type of pokemon or something like that to at least kind of whittle down or probably put a zoom roll to sleep that will probably be your best bit uh to go and hopefully try to help you out with this battle now you do get yourself a reward uh from justy and i think i did try to let you guys know about that uh when i go and try to do some research with that and um, I believe right now, uh, just before going and doing this recording for today, I did go and find that uh, you are going to be able to get yourself uh, with the TM for the return move, which returns actually not that too bad of a move to kind of go and have. Um, so I may probably go and maybe I want to go and probably add that towards maybe over towards where Typhlosion is going to be or maybe for Quagmire. I will have to probably have to go and check that out. Maybe like off recording if I ever decide to uh, go and use that move. But I just don't know exactly on what type of move I'm going to go and remove that off from within these two Pokemon though. But yep, here we go. The Sandstorm is going to be happening. Because unfortunately with Gligar setting that up during the time that uh, when Gligar was still being alive at that point. Caused up for that to happen. Okay, so let's just go for a Flame Wheel here. And I think for us, we should probably switch around. And we'll just have to go into Kirby right on after. So let's go and do that. So yeah, so Quagmire... You'll go and leave for right now. We need to go and put Azumarill to sleep. That's exactly what we need to go and do at this point in time. So let's go and start for the flame wheel. Let's go. Just absolutely obliterate the Cacnea. And just like that, Cacnea is already down and out. And we're all good to go. So that's perfect. Now, I don't think we ever got to see the Sunflora yet on his team. So we're going to have to go and battle out with that as well too. 
Now, at least the good thing is, is that with uh, Sulfur, well, yeah, for Sulfur being out here, um, at least uh, with Quagmire not being on the team at this point, um, well, within the battle here, uh, that's actually pretty nice. So then we don't really have to go and really worry about with any type of Solar Beam related type of moves or even Mega Drain type of stuff because that would just be really annoying. Because like every time now I'll have to go and like use up a Hyper Potion, that Sulfur is going to just probably start eating up with all the different health that we have and we don't want that to become a problem. So sleep powder, go to that Azure World there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna probably miss. Oh wow, it actually did not miss. So good enough. I think as long as we keep this Azure World just having at least one of the plus one type of evasiveness, then that's all that we can just kind of care about right now at this point in time. We'll just go for the flame wheel, just absolutely obliterate out with the sun floor, and we're all good to go. And we can move on over to the next type of phase. Now, I don't know if he has any more other mods after this, so I think all that he could probably just have is just that zoom roll, but we'll have to see. No, he also does have a nose pass. Okay. Well, I think for right now, uh, we'll kind of have to maybe switch around with Typhlosion out here and bring back out with, uh, with our man Quagmire. So we'll just have to just leave with Kirby and just try to hopefully at least try to get some Mega Drains all out of the way for right now. Yep, so at least that Sandstorm is still kind of wheeling it down little by little. So that's all good. So we'll switch around and we'll bring out with Quagmire. So you're back up and ready there. And let's set up for that Mega Drain. Hopefully we do not miss. I'm pretty certain it's going to probably have to because I know that uh, just with at least like one extra bit of a beast in this, this man's going to just keep on missing most of the time. But hey, at least today is not going to be that day. Nice. Got majority back for a little bit of all that annoying sandstorm that was happening. Okay, so that guy's still fast asleep. And here comes up with his own double team. Oh, how lovely. Uh, well, you know what? You're still at one. So at least you don't, at least for the good thing is that we don't really have to really worry about him trying to go for like a two or a three type of one right now. So we're already good. Let's set up for a surf there and another Mega Drain on the Azuma roll if we can. And of course. Yeah, and unfortunately, Justy does have at least one annoying thing on him, and that's going to be with that dang super potion that's there. Ugh. I think that's going to be like the only time that he has that super potion, so we don't really have to go and really worry about that anymore. Yeah, but here we go. There's another thing to go and worry about right there. That annoying, annoying move. Uh, dang it. That is another double team where you want to set up at this point. Okay, let's just go for another one. And this guy has another one. What? How many does this guy have? I thought he only had only just one. I can't believe that. He trolled me and he went for a second one. Dang. I, I, I think, uh, if I can recall, I think uh, if you went and played, I think, what was it? Pokemon Ye Red, Blue, and Yellow? I think majority of the time, I think... I, I don't know if, like, uh, if all the different gym leaders have, like, super potions, but I think they do. And they always have to, like, have like so many different like super potions to go and just literally try to heal up that was just a annoying type of problem back in the day but there we go ah oh, come on we're so close what the heck is going on here man we are just just so close I think we should just be able to just at least just get this nose pass finished and also get with the other one also done as well too because that should be a double knockout once that nose pass is gone, that Azumarill should also be gone as well, too. What? And you avoid the attack? What are you doing, man? Ugh. That annoying double team. Come on. Just get him out of here at this point. There you go. Look at that. And now the Mega Drain one it finally did it. Just give me that team for return. And we don't ever have to go and have to rebound out with here with Justy anymore. And there. And just like that, Justy is already down and out, and we already just got it. Alright, and wow, look at that. We got ourselves some pretty nice good cash from there as well. So wow, so that was one challenging assassin by a bounce. Look at this. My balls are already drenched with sweat. So there's no shame in loss, but I'm a one lucky guy for being a part of this spectacular battle, though. Okay, and with that being said, oh wait, hold on. Uh, so I'm just glad that I got an opportunity to battle with you. Uh, but I want you to have this considered as a memento of our battle. And with that being said in mind, we got ourselves with TM27. Nice. Okay. Let's go and finally head back out and uh, return back to that Shadow Pokemon Lab. 
and let me just go and see what we got for time so seems like for right now we're almost uh heading all the way up to like the nine minute mark but i think for right now that seems like a pretty enough good enough time for me to just go and just end off with the episode for the time being but here we are back to the pokemon lab yeah unfortunately if i can re if i uh am not mistaken i didn't think that we went and found any type of save point yet not even like during the time of like the the part where we're trying to continue out right now so the only save area that we just have is right here back at the main top part of this whole entire place of the shadow pokemon lab but anyways i'm gonna go and end it off here for today thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a comment like also well, also uh subscribe uh to the channel if you're new and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one for when we go and continue on with some more of our time uh within the uh, shadow pokemon lab and i'll see you guys then and of course peace